Hello medicos, welcome to Medvids Nepal. In this video, we are going to discuss about the side determinations of bones of upper extremities just as an exam point of view. And in subsequent videos, we will be uploading more details on these bones. Now let us talk quickly about this bone. The more easier it is to identify this bone, it's very much complex to determine the side of this bone. If I keep this bone like this, then the whole story changes. If we are unable to identify what are the features that are prominent superiorly and inferiorly in this particular bone. So this is the only horizontally placed long bone in our body. It has got two ends, medial end and lateral end. Medial end, which is quadrangular in shape, is also called as the external end. And this is the lateral end, which is flattened above downward. It is called as the acromial end. Superiorly, these two ends and shaft seems to be smooth in appearance. While inferiorly, the shaft along with the ends are a bit rough in appearance. So this is the shallow groove in the shaft and lateral end has got prominent rough surface. And now if we talk about the anteriorly and posteriorly, the features are medial two third of this bone is convex anteriorly and lateral one third of this bone is concave anteriorly. So what is the correct position of this bone? So this is the medial end or external end. This is the lateral end and the smooth upper or superior surface with this anterior medial convex two third portion of the shaft. And this is the inferior surface having the groove and rough surfaces. So this is the clavicle of left upper extremity. Let me give you the other one. Can you identify this medial lateral convex anteriorly the upper surface is smooth and the inferior has a shallow groove with the rough surface this is the bone of right upper extremity this is the right clavicle we hope it's clear now let us talk about this bone yes of course you are able to identify this bone very easily this is the scapula but often in hurry or in nervousness we get confused with the border of this bone so which one is lateral and which one is medial we often get confused so let me give you another very important insight to this bone just imagine this bone as a triangular plate a triangle has got three different angles so this one is the one angle second and the third angle the apex or the third angle which is pointing inferiorly which is kept downward so this is the inferior angle this is the superior angle and this one will be the lateral angle of this triangle so let's call it a lateral angle of this triangle which is modified into a depression called as the glenoid cavity so lateral angle of this triangular plate like bone is modified into the glenoid cavity so this shall be placed laterally so this becomes the lateral border and this becomes the medial border while this is the base of the triangle which is superiorly placed with this suprascapular notch now what is anteriorly the anterior portion is smooth and the posterior portion of this bone or this posterior surface has got this largely projected spine which ends into this acromion. What process. we learned just right now. This is placed laterally. This is placed anteriorly. This is placed medially. This is placed posteriorly. So this is a person facing towards you. And this is the scapula of left upper extremity. If we place it like this again. Then imagine it as one of your scapulae. So posterior has this spine. This is the medial border. This is the lateral border. Glenoid cavity placed laterally. And this is the anterior surface. So of course this is the scapula of left side of the body. This is the humerus of left arm. If this is placed like this we can see here someone is facing you with its left arm. So what are the structures you can imagine? Head of the humerus medially. Greater tubercle, lesser tubercle. Greater tubercle is laterally. Lesser tubercle is anteriorly and like this we have anteriorly at the distal end trochlea medially capitulum laterally this is the medial epicondyle which is more prominent and this is the lateral epicondyle we have this coronoid fossa radial fossa and posteriorly we have got this olecranon fossa so this is about the side determination of the humerus bone now let's talk about this bone can you identify this bone maybe you are confused but let me clarify you this is the ulna bone ulna bone has got two prominent projection in its proximal end and has one projection in distal end distal end is round which is called as the head of the ulna and has got this projection which is present posterior medially and in proximal end it has got this beak like superior process called as the olecranon process the inferior one is the coronoid process and in between these processes we have got the trochlear nodes and to hold this bone in anatomical position what we have to understand is this processes should be facing anteriorly and the styloid process of this distal end should be facing 
posterior medially and there is one lateral sharp interosseous border so this is the bone of left forearm now let's keep it in this position suppose this is the bone or forearm of a person facing towards you a person is showing its forearm to you so what should be considered then this olecranon process and this coronoid process should be facing anteriorly and this lateral or interosseous border which is very sharp should be facing laterally and this styloid process should be facing posterior medially and then we have got this radial notch on the proximal end of this ulna which is placed laterally with this radial head fitting into this notch so this radius has got its sharp interosseous border situated medially so it fits like this so this is the ulna of left forearm what could be the correct anatomical position of this bone now suppose this is the bone of one of your hand so how will you place it then so proximally this is the radial disc like head radial tuberosity should be placed medially and this anterior oblique line or anterior border with this interosseous sharp border medially and in the distal end we have got this anterior smooth surface with lateral styloid process and medial ulnar notch and posteriorly we have got this dorsal tubercle of the radius or listus tubercle so the correct anatomical position and what is the side determination of this bone then this is the radius bone of the left hand 